Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for watching. Thanks for clicking on that button. Um, if you're new to the channel or if you've uh, been on the channel a couple times and you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button for me folks and that little bell notification, that bell will tell you when I put out new videos and you can check back in whenever you see that notification I've got new videos. Anyways, today's video is going to be about the new update 2019.16.2. This update is packed with a lot of new features folks. First and foremost, driving visualization folks. Here's the car there. That's the... Um, symbol of the car or the animation of the car and the good thing with this is now let me just uh, put my foot on the brake put it into drive you see how it zooms out and it fills more of that screen it's a lot better how it does it now and as you drive depending on the road surface that you're on if you're on a highway or if you're just on a single lane road you've got a nice little icon there of when the car turns it turns with you nice little animation of that you can see it's in the lane when it detects lanes it shows a lot bigger it'll show you brake lights now which is good uh, before you couldn't see if you had a red car you couldn't see it at all but if you had any other col color car you couldn't see the brake lights too well now you can see the brake lights you can see the third brake light and at night time you'd actually see the reflection of the brake lights on the road behind the car it picks up multiple lanes a lot better now you can almost even see the license plate of the car so you can see that there's three lanes you can almost see inside the car you can almost see the back seats the the headrest of the back seats and moving on now we have sentry mode improvements i'll get into that in, in a little bit we're just going to scroll down and go through all these first and then i'll go back and show you this okay folks moving on to lane departure avoidance now this and the next one down here emergency lane departure avoidance uh this was hinted at and uh, i guess previewed a few weeks ago by tesla on their blog site now lane departure avoidance it's a setting that you can toggle on and off basically it detects it if you're drifting in and out of your lane uh it will slightly bring you back into lane a, lo a lot of conventional ice cars do this in a crude way i think um i'd like to check this out i think this will actually do it a little better because you know of course tesla it, it, it has a lot more control over the steering wheel than most other cars and it's um engage anywhere between uh, 25 and 90 miles or 40 to 145 kilometers uh, so it intervenes and it's a great feature you can turn it on or turn it off and now emergency lane departure avoidance now this is in the event of a collision if a collision is, is upward uh in front of you or coming up or something it'll detect it and it'll uh steer you uh it, it'll steer you away from the accident it, it seems like um it'll have like audible warnings and chimes and uh, probably red things coming up on the screen here showing you where the accident is or where the potential accident is in, in that lane and it'll warn you uh, accordingly moving down software update preference now you can turn it on or off i'll show you that in a second and of course for all our swedish friends swedish language support you can't go wrong with more languages folks the more the better so let's get out of here and go into the settings um, we'll go backwards here start from the bottom up software updates now if you click on this I'll let you read that you can pause it for five seconds if you like and read it it's basically and I like how they do a nice touch date whatever your car is named it actually says it there if you have it on standard it'll get the standard updates as normal but if you want more the cutting edge you want the uh, it's called advanced you want like the beta of the beta like you want to be the first to get the software update you click on advanced and you keep it on advanced and it will give you all the updates as soon as humanly possible uh, moving over to safety and security for sentry mode as you can see it looks different now it's a toggle switch you can put it on or off now if you click on the little info button here once again i'll pause that for five seconds and you can read it and then resume okay you're back so now that you're back now you can see that it and, and hopefully you read it now basically it's on all the time there's a little icon at the top there uh, you can toggle it on or off you don't have to go into the settings it's right up there it's nice and convenient uh, but you can put it on and off here too and then here uh, it's hooked into your navigation if you've got a home or work or any of the, your favorites that are um, saved in your menu for your navigation you can exclude these just by checking these off and whenever you get to these locations sentry mode won't work i like sentry mode on all the time not that i live in a sketchy area but i like it to be on in when i'm home why not so moving on autopilot okay moving on autopilot if you come down here um the new features that we were talking about lane departure avoidance if you click on that it'll tell you what it is i'll pause that just pause the video and you can read that for five seconds 
and we're back. And basically you can have it off, you can have it a warning, or you can actually have it assist you. Uh, a warning will probably be audio visual. Uh, assist is actually, like it says, it'll actually assist you. This stays on all the time. When, after you started the car and you started going, you can actually turn these off if you, if you want it off but it's on by default. Next one is uh, emergency lane departure avoidance. You can toggle it on or off. If you turn it off, it'll it'll pull up this message saying, are you sure you want to turn it off? So I'm going to keep it on along with all the other uh, warnings and uh, safety features here. Going up to driving, nothing looks new here. Oh, let me pull that back up. Lights, once again, nothing looks too new there. The quick controls. Uh, if you see something that I'm missing folks that looks new that I'm just not seeing let me know and that's it folks That's the new update 2019 16.2 if you haven't got it make sure you're on Wi-Fi when you park at home overnight or something like that. You'll get the update soon enough I think there seems to be there was 16.1 and then they revised it to 16.2 and I believe that they seem to be rolling it out uh, Pretty pretty steadily now. So that's all I got today folks. Thanks for watching. We will see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye <laughs>